we're just gonna start with this one because Envy, Seven Deadly Sins, ho ho, Envy was an adventure. We have a lot to talk about. Also, last bald cap of the series, exciting times for me, my friends. And although I have quite a few stories to tell you about this look, actually, I'm gonna start off with giving you a little bit of a tutorial. <laughs> I'm first covering up my eyebrows using a washable glue stick. I'm then applying concealer to my eyebrows. I am applying foundation to my face. And using a Made You Look Flat foundation brush, I'm then applying green body paint everywhere. Is this the worst possible, most streaky body paint application I think I've ever done in my life? Yes, but you know what? Envy was such an adventure that I just, I was not prepared to do it again. <laughs> Sometimes you just, you don't even, you don't even know where to start and then you paint this. And you're like, no, no, no. I look like a crocodile. So I repainted over that and I thought to myself, a good direction to actually start is going to be by highlighting. The reason that I'm starting with the highlights is because I felt like it was gonna give me a better idea of what I want my actual face shape to look like. I wanted my forehead to come down more towards a point and also really highlight my cheekbones to make them stand out more and appear more menacing. Now that we've got that out of the way, we can talk. Oh my God. Envy. Not to be dramatic, but <laughs> I don't want to do this look again. <laughs> Let me first start with my actual concept of what I was envisioning Envy to be. Envy was actually the hardest sin for me to come up with. Reason being, and I'm not saying, oh yeah, like I feel all the other sins, but I actually sat down and realized I never really feel envious. Like I don't think I've ever felt the actual true emotion of Envy in my life. And I don't know if that's a weird thing to say. I guess I just feel like when other people are successful or have good things happen to them, I'm just happy for them. And the only time that really things make me mad is if somebody gets something good and they don't deserve it, but that's not really even envy because I'm not envious of them, I'm annoyed. I guess I've just always felt like, you know, I'm happy for people when, when, when they get things or do things or good things happen to them. So envy was really hard for me to relate to because I felt like I had to come up with an emotion that I I really have never felt. And the only thing that I actually know very well about envy is that envy is associated with green. I then went to the Google and discovered that envy was associated with a snake, which I thought it was, but confirmed it is. So then the concept started forming. I knew that on top of turning myself into a green snake, particularly because of Envy, I also wanted to incorporate a lot of jewels into the look, which you guys will see later in the video. I'm assuming, I don't know how deep into the video we are right now doing this voiceover. The backstory that I came up with for this character is that when you commit the sin of Envy, you run into this snake-like demon, completely covered in jewels, and you spend the rest of all eternity working for these gems and jewels, but then the Envy demon comes along and takes it from you. So no matter how hard you work or how long you work, the Envy demon will always be filled with so much envy that they'll take away everything you have ever earned. Thus, how the demon gets its jewels. And we're probably not there yet, but I did end up running out of jewels because I wanted to cover basically the entire half of my head, my shoulders, my entire neck, and then down onto like my chest area of my body. Because I know a lot of you guys are drawing the sins, which is so cool. So if anybody ever wants to draw envy for whatever reason and wants to add more green jewels to it, you definitely can. And I say this on Twitter, but I always really appreciate and I'm always really honored when people draw me because they want to take my characters that they saw and still continue them onto paper. So thank you to anyone that's drawn my uh, seven deadly sins. You guys have been making my day. And now that you know the concept, now we can talk about doom that I have run into this entire look. Oh my God. So as I mentioned earlier, Envy was difficult for me to come up with because I just never really related to Envy. So the first time I went to sit down and film this, I actually had so much trouble that I couldn't come up with a concept past I wanted it to be a snake. And I, I didn't think that was strong enough to be a demon because what does what does turning myself into a snake mean that it has anything to do with a demon, you know? And my camera is about to die as I'm recording this voiceover. Oh my God, this demon is cursed. So I then go to film this demon on a different day. I have only extra small bald caps remaining. I go through not one, not two, but three extra small bald caps. I tear two of them the first time and I'm like, okay, mm, this does not fit my head. There's no chance I'm getting this extra small bald cap on my noggin. But being optimistic, I say to myself, yes, you can. So I put it on a third time and I actually start to paint. Now one hour into filming my Envy Demon, 
it tears up the entire side, which you guys will see at the end of the video because I was filming and I was already starting to begin to detail. Then it gets to literally yesterday, I filmed this video because I, I had to wait on bald caps again. I had the concept ready, I had everything ready, I had all the gems ready, I, sor I, I sorted them out from this huge rainbow bin of gems. So anyways, I got two day shipping on the bald caps. Luckily everything worked out because they got here on time, the video is posted, everything is good. Enjoy the rest of the video. Make sure you guys stay to the end of the video, that way you guys can see my little bit of extra footage I have for you guys. And maybe leave some nice comments, thank you. <laughs> When I first put this bald cap on the first time, I knew that it was going to tear. I just didn't know how much it was going to tear because of the way that I cut it, plus it was too small. I did try to put a little bit of prosate on underneath just to try to patch it as I was going along the way, but it did end up tearing up the entire side of my head. There's no way I could repair this. There's no way I could fix it. I mean, I guess I could have taken a piece of latex and put it over the bald cap to try to patch it that way, but there would have been some seams and just honestly, I would have been better off waiting for a new bald cap, which is what I did. As you can see the look of defeat in my face as I take the bald cap off, although it did make a very satisfying line. And you guys never really get to see me take my bald caps off. So that's exciting. Looking back, although the first snake was very, very detailed, I actually liked the way that I did it second anyway. So it ended up working out. And the reason I wanted to include this extra footage at the end is because, you know, I've been doing this for so many years, but people do run into problems. So no matter what you do, whether you've been doing it for a long time or you're brand new, try, try again. Don't get discouraged and keep on creating, you little demon.